So I'm here with Brandon Sweeney, one of the Ascentium co-founders and head of materials research and development. So Ascentium has a very robust uh, materials portfolio. You know, we are still a materials first company and we are always trying to innovate more. What does that mean for our customers uh, in terms of how it relates to your team? So we have a lot of materials in our portfolio that have been targeted to various industry verticals so far. Prototyping materials like PCTG, uh, higher performance materials like our high temperature nylon series. Uh, and really where we're headed from here is all about high performance applications for our customers. So we're really never done innovating on our materials portfolio. We're always gonna listen to the voice of the customer. What do they need in terms of the mechanical properties, uh, chemical resistance, temperature resistance, and we're gonna figure out how to tailor our portfolio to that. Uh, we've actually got a full portfolio pipeline ahead of us. So we're working with partners like Lehman and Voss, uh, BASF, Sabic, uh, resin suppliers who've just been in this industry forever and they know what quality looks like. Uh, so we're gonna be tailoring our portfolio to match the needs of customers with 3D printing materials that are gonna specifically address those concerns uh, and pass qualifications too. So materials that have excellent chemical resistance, for the oil and gas industry, materials that have surface uh, resistance values that get them into ESD safe fixtures for the electronics manufacturing industry. We're also gonna look at stuff that goes into the aerospace industry uh, with Sabic for materials that are uh, FST, flame smoke and toxicity certified. So our portfolio is just gonna grow and expand into various industry verticals that have more compliance, more regulation, uh, more exotic needs associated with them. Uh, we're never done, and we just keep on pushing ahead with our portfolio. So when a customer gets a material from Ascentium, they have the stamp of HSE certified. That comes directly from you and your team. They get the stamp. They get the official right. stamp, the rubber stamp. Uh, what does that mean for the customer in terms of the operation of the printer with those materials? It means you can go into complex parts and geometries with confidence. You don't have to wonder, you know, is this material even the right starting point for my end use? You know that we've tested it and we've certified that it's going to be able to reproduce complex geometries and you can check our technical data sheets to make sure that, yes, this is the material that I wanted to engineer with. Uh, and then when you go onto the HSC and you have an HSC certified material, there's that confidence that I can produce this geometry, I can get the properties that I'm looking for, and my end use application is gonna be successful because the Ascentium engineers have actually worked this material to death and characterized it well beyond anything else out there. Yeah, so one of the, one of the unique findings that we have found recently has been the strength improvements just off the bed from an Ascentium HSC printer versus other printers in the market, maybe give our customers a glimpse of, of what that actually means. So we do have a variety of other printers here that we do additional testing on for our materials, but the HSC is really unique. Uh, the, the speeds and the shear and the thermal history that we have access to working on the HSC platform is just so much higher than any printer on the market, 10x higher, that you get unique polymer properties when you process materials that fast. So we get extra layer bonding that gives us better Z-layer strength and mechanical properties on finished parts. Uh, we have a couple case studies that we will be published on that topic uh, later this year. And in general, you're just gonna see that details and surface finish are much more repeatable when you're working at those high print speeds uh, because the polymer is shear thinning and flowing better. Uh, so that's a unique capability on the HSC that's not seen on most other desktop printers. Brandon, thanks so much for giving our customers a behind the scenes look at the materials lab here in the heart of Ascentium headquarters. Uh, thanks so much, appreciate it. Absolutely.